All right, but Rob. Well, 0 and 5. 0 and speaking 5. of long seasons, my goodness. The Milwaukee Bucks. And it's not often that we lead the show with the Milwaukee Bucks during the regular season. It's either something really good or really bad when you lead in the national show during the regular season. Playoffs, of course, if they, you know, they're always a factor with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now they got Damian Lillard. Yeah, we'll talk a lot about it. But in the regular season, Rob, and this one would fall under the category of really bad. Two nights ago, Rob, they went into Washington where the Wizards are just horrific and lost. I don't care if Damian Lillard didn't play. It was the Wizards. You can't lose to the Wizards. And then last night, Rob, you would think they'd be ready to make amends. You would think they'd be fired up and ready to set things in order with only about two weeks, if that, left in the regular season. They were my best bet. You remember I said they needed to bounce back and I wow. had them minus 12 and a half? I thought, it was a I thought logical that was going to happen. Yes. It was a logical pick. And instead, facing the Memphis Grizzlies, who, of course, don't have their superstar, John ja Morant, the, the Milwaukee Bucks got beaten again by nine points. Rob, this you I don't know if you've heard this number, but it's gonna be, it's gonna knock you off your seat if you haven't heard it. Under Adrian Griffin, the rookie coach who was unceremoniously dismissed, dumped. Midway through the season. Remember, they couldn't have it anymore. Dumped him. Oh, this is, what in the world is going on? We're only 30 and 13. Right. Oh, yeah, we got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him right now to right this ship. (laughs) Right Right now. We can't wait till after his first season, Chris. No. No, no, Right now. Forget that uh, Dame Dollar just got there and they gave up their best defensive player. Forget about all that. Yep. They're winning at such a clip that we need to make a move like right now because we're going to wear in it to win and let's go get the coach who hasn't won since Moby Dick was a guppy and let's go get him. <laughs> Rob, do you know what their record is under Doc Rivers? Give it to me. I know it's under 500. What is it? No, it, 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 it's, it's actually... It's actually at 500. Okay. 15 and 15. Way too much talent to be 15 and 15. And and they don't have any major not, – I not, not, know there's some people banged up, but not to where yeah. they should be. Uh, They've been – guys have been kind of in and out right, all year. Right, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm saying like not where Giannis no. has missed extended time no, or no. Dame Dollar has missed extended time. No. Not at all. Rob, what – I mean – I I feel like I know where you're going, and I, I just it just seems obvious. But the question is, who's to blame for them playing so poorly? They've lost four of their last five. They've lost. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they've lost four of their last five, and you know they're six and eight over the last fourteen. I mean, who's to blame? Uh. It's got to, it's got to be Doc Rivers, cause it's easy to say, well, it's an adjustment period, you know what I mean, and maybe you got to get those guys on the same page. But they were on the same page, Chris. You talked about the record with the with the rookie coach. Yeah. They were off to a great start, yep. and they weren't even there yet. Would you agree with that? Like, yeah. like they were off to a great start, and they weren't there yet. So to me, it's got to be Doc. Because it started out awful. Remember, then they had a nice run, and people thought, okay, they turned a corner. Yep. And, and then we they went right credit. back. We, we did. Said, we said, look, we got to give – we have been critical of Doc when it's warranted. And when we he gave does him well, credit we gave for him the six-game win streak. 100%. Defense you, had improved. Everything was looking good. But then, but then it's all turned back. It's turned back to goo. That's where the Milwaukee Bucks are. The and, thing is, it's even worse than turned back. I mean, it, it's undeniable that it's gotten worse. It's undeniable, right? Like, 
We just said it. 30 and 13 was reason for panic. And now you're 15 and 15? I I, I agree with I, I don't know where else to point the finger. There's no there's nowhere else to go. I mean Well, Doc I, thinks there's a few other places. Well, uh who was players? Uh, well, then, here uh, here was Doc after they lost to Washington. I don't know. I think focus. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, it's funny. I've actually been sitting back and watching everything. Uh, not just our players, but our travel crew, everything. Uh, and I've made a lot of notes. I will say that. Now, I won't share that. Um, but we don't bring the necessary um, professionalism, seriousness on the road. Um, and, and that's something that we can fix. Um, that's something we're going to have to fix. All right, Rob, I want you to hear me out, and then I'm going to play something else for you. All right. First of all, it, it sounds like Doc did share a little bit of what he's been taking the notes on. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> right, that's what he professionalism, <laughs> the lack he's of that, We're not professional on the road. Uh, right. Does that mean we're hanging out and going to strip clubs and not uh, studying film? Well, or whatever? I mean, what remember, is it? He didn't just mention the players. It's the training staff. It's everybody. And here's my thing on that, Rob. And like I said, there's something else I'm going to play for you. Um, I, I, I'm not saying Doc's lying, and I'm not saying Doc's wrong. He very well may be doing that. I, I don't think he's lying about that. He may, very well may not like what he sees. But to me, Rob, when you're talking about the training staff and all that, and I mean, what, they're not, I don't know, they're, they're slow putting the bags on the bus or, you know, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 there's too much joking on the plane. I don't know. But my point is this, Rob, you can fix that behind closed doors. You know, if you see that, okay, guys, guys, we got to start doing this. Cut it out. The only reason to me, and I want your opinion on this, the only reason you put that out publicly is because it gives you an excuse. It covers your back. It does. Well, the guys. Are, am, am I wrong, Ralph? No. Why else would you say that? You don't have to say that publicly. We talk about it all the time. Chris is good for us, right? As right. as journalists and fodder, um, is giving us a lead topic today. Stuff to talk about, right? <laughs> but that should be in house. Do yes. cut the crap on the road. Do what you're supposed to. Right. I'll talk to these guys. Pull a guy by the shirt, Chris, and say, come on, dude. I need you to be professional, okay? We got a squad here. We got a chance to yep. win. We need to button up stuff, okay? Stop with all the other stuff. Nonsense. You don't need to tell the world about that. And, 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 Rob, also, these are guys that are veterans. A lot of them were on that championship team. So I, I don't even know if that's that's the case. I'm more thinking about the staff, but you you may be right. I mean, we don't know who he's talking about. But even about. the staff, Chris, if seriously, you know at this no, level. No, I, I at, totally agree at, with at you. This you level, do it under, right. behind closed doors. But, yeah, but if there's not. somebody on your staff, Chris, who's not doing what they're supposed to at this level, dude, get, get you got to get rid of them. Come on. Or, or, or correct them initially but you, am and I if right? they don't correct. You're, at, you're absolutely. It you're doesn't not gonna, have to you're be You're not going to take a guy who's, who's you think – is doing something to hurt the team from winning? No, no. He don't it's play, just... Chris, and you're saying he's part of the reason why we're not winning? That guy gets – he's just, he's uh, disposable. Are you kidding? No, I, I, I'm, I'm totally with you. And, Rob, he, I think Doc has got to be careful because remember what he said, and I'm not so much blaming him. I, look, he was being honest. But the whole Ben Simmons thing seemed to start when Doc was like, hey, I don't know if we can win with him at point guard. I mean, and he's been proven right. Or that at least half right. You can't. Ben Simmons won't be in the league in a couple years. But that started it. And my point here is, Rob, Rob, you know, you and I didn't have to dig deep for Doc's playoff record. We've all seen it the last decade. They're the people in that organization, Rob, the trainers, the staff, the players, they know. And I'm not saying they're holding it against Doc or they think it means he's not the guy for the job or whatever. But I'm saying, Rob, when that guy goes out there 
and then kind of puts the blame on you. Right. Then it's like, oh, really? We went from 30 and 13 to 15 and 50, and we you blaming us? Right. They were winning. They were winning already. Right. And so I think he's got to be careful because he could tick some people off. Whether it's players, staff, I don't, whatever. The second thing, Rob, last night after the loss, Giannis played 32 minutes. 32. All right. Not like he went 48 minutes. But here's Doc on Giannis. I thought Giannis did everything he could. Uh, honestly, and I'm not kidding, I, 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 there were times in the beginning of the middle of the third, I, I talked to Scott three different times. Like, I wanted to take him out of the game. Um, um, I thought he was running on fumes. Um, you know, as a coach, you got to make a judgment call sometimes, and, and medical makes the call more. You know, they kept saying he's okay, but I have eyes. And I just didn't like the way he was moving. Take him out. <laughs> what, what do you do? Why are we paying you millions if you can't even determine who's going to play? Again, Rob, it looks like an excuse. First of all, Giannis played 32 minutes, not a ton. Secondly, it's a back-to-back. If he was some injury, you know, issue, you wouldn't even be playing him on a back-to-back. Right. And he's played the last seven games, so it's not like, you know, he's uh, he's been in and out, he's kind of hampered. And the training staff, they're not telling you who to play, like, in between. Well, Doc, you need to get so-and-so in. You need to get so-and-so out. If, if there's a minutes restriction, that's one thing. Or if, it, or if it's a question if he's going to play before the game, that's one thing. But during the game? I don't, Rob, it just sounds like another excuse. And Doc's got to be careful, man, throwing these things out because a lot of people are feel like he's setting up pre-excuses so that when this for thing, when they fall. Right. So when this thing doesn't go right, he'll be able to point back to it, no doubt. Am I just imagining that? or do, It no. seems pretty obvious to me. You put it out there, Chris, and then you could always go back to it. Yeah. Right? When things don't yep. work out. 